Every hand lifted, would you please, in the presence of the Lord. Every For Amen Corner, Mumford High School Center. So, so Dietrich and Donnie, you mind? Kim, I take the nephews from Chicago on a tour of Detroit. In the greater Metroplex area, I'm gonna start out like in Southfield. Yes, West Bloomfield. And then I'm going to take you to the hood. Shoot, go, ahead. go ahead with that, Phil.
because we will not be responsible for somebody slapping you in your family for what's about to go on right now. No, 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 hear me, hear what you say. Because you can't beat Detroit for the sound that has circled this globe. the greatest singers can't go down the street without the clock sisters and I don't hear nobody in here can't go up the road without Vanessa Bell Armstrong you can't talk about male groups without commission around the world with, you know, songs. Step. What's your name? So I'm going to impose on one of the greatest male vocalists that we know today.
Fred Hammond. I'll give you another story real quick. Love this concert over. You know, I just want a story. So, uh, there was this group called uh, Winings Part Two. And in that group was Michael, BB, CC, uh, Vicky, and Marvie Wright. And, uh, and so uh, I got a call from this bass player. And he came over right there, 19131 with him. And, uh, yeah. I'm for real, Detroit. <laughs> and um, he came in and said he wanted to play for Winans Part Two. He started playing the bass. He just played all over the bass. Just, I just stopped. I said, man, you didn't come in to play for Winans Part Two. You came in to play for the Winans. <laughs> and then he tried to be up. He said, well, if you think so. <laughs> Hold on a second, Bishop. Hold on a second. Let's get in front of that story. This content is over. Listen. When the whiners hit, they hit like a hurricane. Y'all remember when Christian is when that came on, Matt Morris, or no, no, uh, uh, WGPR. Yeah, uh, Grant. Not Grant, but uh. Not Matt, it was, uh, it was uh, my man. But well, anyway. <laughs> Marvelous Marv, you're a midday DJ. And so they said, hey man, they have auditions because they were thinking about transitioning out. And so they said, I, I said, Greg Lockett, since you're not going, hey listen, would you put my name in? He said, I would. He put it in. And then Pastor Werner said, tell Fred to call. Okay, I was at Henry Ford Community College. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was taking sports medicine, and <laughs> he said, call me in the morning. So I called him. And Vicky said, hey, hey, Mark, it's that bass player on there. His name, he said, tell him to call me back tomorrow. At 9.59, I called him back, because I was supposed to call him at 10. Next thing I know, he said, tell him to call me back tomorrow. I had my, I had like, Five dollars worth of quarters. I was hitting it. The next day I said, hey, hey, Pastor Wine. I mean, I said, hey, Marvin, because we called him Peanut. That's right. You know, I said, you know, okay. this is Fred. He said, he got on the phone. And if you know, he's not a very, um, he's very blunt. If you know Pastor. And he said, hello. What do you With the, with the brother that labored with us and my dreams was crushed. But God had a ram. Now go ahead and get you. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. He ain't even joking. I went over. I saw B.B. And, and Daniel and, and Northland and Flag Brothers shoes. And they said, hey, work that he said, hey, listen. Listen. Come. We're going to do a concert with you. I said, okay, cool, man. No problem. You know, good. But when he went over there, we went over there and we was, we was kicking it. You know, I was playing all of those songs. And then he said, he looked at me and said, you ain't slick. He said, play this. I feel like flying away. And I must have played every note. <laughs> Go ahead. So, I was living out of Melvindale. And, uh, It's you in Detroit now. <laughs> and so, I went, we had rehearsal. And I said, Fred, after that night, I said, come on out to the rehearsal. He came out to the rehearsal. We had a bass player. He was playing. And Fred sat through the whole rehearsal. Wow. Sat through the whole rehearsal. And then we was getting ready to break down. I said, before, before, before we break down. Fred, why don't you play something? He played that bass to the bass player. 
I ain't said nothing. He came over to me and said, I understand. <laughs> The next thing we know, we was in New York with Fred Hammond and our bass player. And so we're at, we're, we're coming to New York. We're, we're in New York and we're at Boys and Girls High. That's right. And he was playing the bass. And I knew he could sing. And so I stopped and he was saying, What a friend we have. And uh, then I said, Would y'all like to hear the bass player sing? Fred killed it. And he was on the road with us for a couple of years. And then I knew it was time for him to go. And uh, he's the only musician we've ever had that I wrote a song about. And uh, he's a waterhead anyway. So he was, I ain't gonna sing it for you, but it's it's called Farewell Free. And uh, I'm just proud of him and delighted that, that we had a hand in what God had. And I went to New York and met this young man. And um, all I can say is that he was the most anointed person I have seen in my life. And uh, God put us together, and I won't go through those stories. But would y'all like to meet my wife? Yeah. Mrs. Winans, would you come out here real quick? Just say hi. Just, yeah. So if y'all see me somewhere where y'all know it's legal. All right. in Toledo and they went to sing this song and I ran out of my office in the back and said, what is that? And then they told me, they said, Donnie would I said, Donnie wrote that. And it goes like this. Come on, hit that guy. Now you gotta get ready because you gotta, you gotta get ready. Two and a half weeks. We have one more tomorrow and then we going home. So do